Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to make a short video about MS-DOS gamepads and joysticks which are using the game port and how to find a good gamepad or joystick for your retro PC. So let's get started. First I would like to give you some background information. You have to differentiate between an analog and a digital joystick. The analog joysticks were introduced around about 1986, I would say, with the introduction of the IBM PC and were built up to, let's say, the phasing out of the game ports. But there are probably still some advanced analog joysticks or you know the analog stick on a um, controller. I'm talking only about uh, game port controllers now. Let's say they were first phased out with the introduction of the USB port, I would say, around about 2000. So then we have the digital joysticks. The digital joysticks are the joysticks we are using today and they were introduced around about 1998 and um, are currently in use. So if you look for a joystick which is analog it should be built around about 1995 or even before. That's a very good sign um, before the introduction of the digital joysticks to find a good analog one. I, um, I stick here with the Gravis um, PC gamepad which was introduced in 1992 and is a, like a thing in between because it uses tactile domes uh, instead of potentiometers. I will explain you the differences in a second, uh, but um, it, it's nevertheless it's an analog joystick and it's perf it perfectly usable under MS-DOS. And then we have the classic uh, uh, joystick which uses potentiometers. Um, to explain you this, I have here a little multimeter and I have also a rusty old uh, potentiometer. It's uh, um, I found, <laughs> found in my, uh, my shed here and when I uh, turn the potentiometer you can see the values here on my multimeter, the resistance values, this is uh, more or less an adjustable resistor, are changing. So this Resist technique um, works uh, a regular analog joystick. So um, you have here, you have here the potentiometers. This is, here's one, and uh, here's also another one. And when I uh, turn turn the handle, then the voltage, what, what I've already shown you here, uh, changes because the resistance is different. And you have usually two potentiometers built in an analog joystick and uh, they are uh, building the axis. We, I have the X axis and the Y axis. And um, you have here, um, for example, a very low voltage. And here, when you turn the potentiometer, you get a high voltage. And that's on the other axis, the same. Yeah, low voltage, high voltage. And this information is uh, used to define the position of the cursor or of your spaceship in a program. So that's a very basic technique of analog joystick. And then we have the digital joysticks. Um, they use a different technique. They are getting like uh, zeros and ones. And for example, that's a pretty good example. This is not a digital, but it uses like this. Uh, this is a good example. This is a digital joystick, a Microsoft Sidewinder, and uh, this joystick has tactile domes. And uh, yeah, also here, I, I don't think that is that are micro switches inside, but um, they are probably tactile domes. And the information is sent in a digital way to the PC. And these joysticks don't work under MS-DOS. So 
that's uh, that's a really uh, really basic information I wanted to give you. Um, now I uh, have a, a special thing. I I'm running a program um, which is able to show you the information um, the MS DOS PC is receiving, and this uh, program is called Thrust and. Um, I will uh, connect now um, some uh, joysticks uh, to the PC and show you the information the PC is receiving. So now I'm back. I connected the joystick uh, with the game port of my sound card in my PC. And you can see now in the upper left of the screen the information I'm getting. There is AX and AY. Uh, they are representing the axis, which I have already shown you. And there is also BX and BY. Um, this information is for a second uh, joystick. The game port is able to process or to handle two joysticks. Um, they are usually connected with a Y cable. And um, each joystick has two fire buttons. I have here A2 and A1. And uh, the other joystick would have B1 and B2. And when I move the handle, you can now see that the AX is going down in the value. And the AYX is still the same. It's around about 1200. And um, when I let loose um, the handle centers again, and we have some uh, so values round about uh, 1000, 1100. And a similar um, thing happens when I move the handle up, the A, Y uh, axis goes down in value, and when I pull the uh, handle down, the A, Y value goes up. So that's basically the information the PC is receiving. Um, some uh, games have a function uh, to center the joystick at the beginning of a game and that's uh, very sensible because uh, the values uh, you can see are flipping and um, if you connect a different uh, joystick Say uh, the center values when the joystick is not in use will probably differentiate. So that uh, is the basic function of an analog joystick. And now I try to connect a digital joystick. I take therefore this uh, Microsoft Sidewinder. Now I switched the Microsoft uh, Sidewinder to the PC and as you can see in the uh, left uh, screen um, I, I'm getting only uh, confused values but uh, it's not possible to, to get values equal to an analog joystick so that's the main difference, the information is sent in a different way. So I hope you found my video interesting and thank you for watching. Um, I hope you uh, um, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to upload quite a few videos about retro PCs, retro joysticks and retro gaming in the future. Bye.